Hi all, welcome to Southern Cross Amateur Astro and our guides to APT. And this one we're going to be doing a looking at a bit of a uh, mixed series. This is going to be part of our deep dive series, but it's also going to be a standalone series where I get APT from the install and run right through planning, uh, configuring APT and guiding and everything else right into an imaging session and maybe covering a little bit at the end of a session as well and doing it on a live setup outside so you can see exactly how I do things and I hope people will find it uh, interesting and useful okay so here's the overall idea um, I'm looking at at least a seven part series I may throw a couple of small parts in between them I don't know yet but uh, the next part part two will be the pre-configuration of a CMOS camera as well as one for a Canon DSLR and lens and these are things you can do before you get out there, you can do them during the day, you can do them whatever you like. I've got plenty of time, I've had two semi-clear nights in the last three months and both of them weren't forecast so <laughs> I've got plenty of time to do that part. And then for the next part I'll be looking at uh, getting ready and this is going to involve getting PhD2 set up and calibrated before the session actually starts um, and before I get into APT but it's also going to be looking at the planning I go into um, selecting a target and, and getting it all ready in APT so the targets ready I can just go in and click on a plan and get going um, I'll probably be using uh, Telescopius for that because I can export the uh, target in and import it into APT which people might find helpful to see as well but it might also involve a bit of Stellarium and that along the way as well I'll see what happens when I get to that part then part five and six will be uh, using the session live with the mount out and under the beautiful clear skies I hope to get one day now I have no idea what I'm going to be able to get to do these um, the CMOS isn't too bad as long as I get a semi clear night uh, it doesn't matter what the moon's doing everything else because I'm shooting in narrowband uh, but it may be difficult to get a time for using the DSLR I really need to do that around um, the new moon sometime and hopefully I can get a clear sky at that time to do it and then finally we'll do a wrap up and maybe look at the results of what I get from these sessions um, the wrap up might also include you know, taking light frames, at, uh, flat frames at the end of a session and things like that as well I don't know where I'll include them um, I'm not going to make you sit through all the uh, full sessions but just to get it up and running so the session is going uh, plus anything interesting that might happen during the night uh, might monitor a, a, a meridian flip or something and yeah, I don't know yet, I'll have to see what happens on the night but that's the idea behind this little series I'm going to be doing. Um, I hope I get a chance to get out soon and do these live parts outside under the sky. But at least I can do the first few parts here um, without waiting for clear skies. The first two anyway. Uh, the fourth part has to wait until I've got some at least semi-forecast clear skies. So I can do the planning of what I want to do for the night. Um, setting up. Yeah, and that'll include setting up plans and setting up uh, session control and everything else that I need for it. But I'll have to wait and see when I can do all that. But that's the idea behind this at the moment. As I said, it'll form part of our deep dive series. But I also branch it off and put it in its own little uh, playlist on its own for people to have a look at. So I hope it'll be good for you. This might be a bit of fun for me. Yeah, the big problem is I've got to do this all from home so I can record it properly. Um, I can't get out to my remote site because I don't have a way to record the session uh, the way I normally do. So we'll see what happens in the next few weeks of whether I can get this all done or whether I'm going to be still waiting to do my live sessions under the stars. Um, until next time, take care all. Wishes clear sky and I'll see you later.